The daily commute for many Jacksonville drivers could be changing soon. The Florida Department of Transportation wants to know what you think about an idea to streamline the Emerson Street and I-95 intersection. Zach Wilcox is joining us live from F. headquarters this evening on the west side. And Zach, a public meeting right now to talk about adding a median U-turn uh, that just got underway. Yeah, Anthony, nothing like a room full of engineers, maps, and renderings to make sure that questions get answered and concerns addressed. You're looking at a map of I-95, the future possibly for I-95. Lots of folks poking and circling and talking about this map, but we'll really hone in here on what the main focus is for tonight, and that is this Emerson Street interchange here. Right now, if you're going, coming off the Hard Expressway and you're coming on up, you're taking a right turn and looping on to I-95, but what they're talking about doing is this U-turn lane that would get drivers into this median and turned over, trying to make it streamlined, a little quicker and a little bit safer. This is a particularly dangerous intersection in the past. So I went in and talked to somebody who works, oh, right about here, right off of that intersection to see what their thoughts are on their daily commute. It backs up over here. It backs up going towards Phillips Highway. Andy McQueen works on Emerson Street and sees the line to get on I-95 grow constantly as drivers get into the right lane to go north or south on I-95. In fact, she says her coworker does her best to avoid the line to get on this ramp altogether. She was telling me she already goes down to the gate station and turns around and comes back this direction to get up on 95. Her coworker may be onto something and soon she may not have to turn into a business to do it. The Florida Department of Transportation has proposed adding a median U-turn for drivers heading southbound. Every intersection is different. Uh, we all have unique uh, communities that we live and work in. Jacksonville is very unique. FDOT spokesperson Hampton Ray says the median U-turn would be similar to what drivers experience at Beach and Southside Boulevard. Drivers coming off the Hard Expressway to pass under the interstate, turn around in the median, then turn right to go south on I-95. The median would have space for a few cars, so the southbound drivers won't block drivers turning right to go north or drivers passing through to Phillips Highway. Eliminating those hard left-hand turns is really a net positive for any intersection configuration. The median U-turn idea isn't set in stone, as FDOT wants to hear from drivers to see what they think first. At the end of the day, the folks that drive this intersection are really going to be the ones that should need to, need to buy in into what we're going to do in these improvements. The Queen thinks it'll be an improvement on the current setup, but only if it times up right. I would worry, though, about the timing of the, the lights. If they don't get that right, then it could be a mess. And this is all part of a much bigger project. As you know, you've got the Main Street Bridge, the Acosta Bridge, and the Fuller Warren all feeding into this chunk of I-95. So they're widening the lanes from three. And you can see on this rendering, they got one, two, three, four, five lanes to try and clear up that bottleneck with all that traffic coming in here. But with that said, it's a big project. So we're looking at a spring 2028 finish line for the time being. On the west side, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.